so um, normal appearance of an ultrasound, uh, normal appearance of tendons on ultrasound is something often people comment to their stain, they don't know what they're looking at. So I'm just trying to break it down for you just to sort of give you a guide. Um, at the end of the day, we, we assess them quite routinely and you have to be aware that we can pick up subtleties of changes which are something that need to be addressed. So let's start. Superficial digital flexor tendon, um, that's the most common site of injury of it in a racehorse. So um, what we're looking for here, this is superficial digital flexor tendon. Um, when people talk about bow tendons, this is what they're talking about. Injury to this region, most common in reventers and show jumpers. Then we've got the deep digital flexor tendon, um, which runs right down and inserts on the pedal bone. You've got the check ligament here, which will insert onto the deep digital flexor tendon. And then we've got the suspensory ligament down here. This is your cannon bone down here. So four major structures that we have to be aware of in the foreleg. So superficial digital flexor tendon. It's probably the most commonly injured tendon that we see within our clinic um, due to the high percentage of race horses and event horses we do. A couple of things you need to understand about a superficial digital flexor tendon. Um, it reaches maturity at 18 months of age, so it's old age from then on in. It works at a full gallop. It's working at about 99% capacity. So what does that mean? That means that any micro damage to that tendon just predisposes the horse to more injury and a proper tendon injury. So you have to be very careful how we, how we look after horses to ensure that we maximize their, their lifespan and reduce the chance of tendon injury. So there's not a lot of spare capacity. As I said to people, if you're an engineer, you probably wouldn't be, and you designed the equine superficial digital flexor tendon, you probably wouldn't be asked back again because it's the most common place we get an injury. So there's two types of tendon lesions within the superficial. So you see here, we've got an image, we've got a nice core lesion. So it's very central, it's, it's within the tendon, most likely caused by exercise and we, we often talk about a hole, um, but it's not really a hole. It's a hypoechoic area within the tendon. You've got hemorrhage in that area, and you've got damage to the tendon fibers. Then we get the peripheral lesions, which, as you can see here, the arrow highlights that these are most likely caused by trauma. So it's a horse being hit, hitting, hitting itself or getting its leg over a Oh, I've seen it over a metal bar or on the float. So it's something um, we get those. They're very different to the normal central lesion, um, but they can be just as difficult to deal with. Then we've got the deep digital flexor tendon. So this runs all the way down the back of the cannon bone, round the back, of the, down the back of the fetlock joint, and inserts on the pedal bone. Most likely in our practice, we see these injuries within the foot hoof capsule. So we don't often have ultrasound changes on that area. Occasionally we'll get a pastern lesion, but most of the time it's within the hoof capsule and we need to diagnose those by MRI. So, check ligament. Um, check ligament, we see this injury in dressage horses quite commonly, and it starts on into the deep digital flexor tendon. You may have heard people call it check ligament desmotomy. So we cut that there when we want to release pressure on the deep digital flexor, such in cases laminitis. Um, most of the time we deal with them, they will show up as limbless and they'll be swelling. So there'll be puffiness behind the cannon bone and they'll be sore to palpate and you need to be aware of them. So suspensory ligament has actually got um, multiple parts to it. We break it into four parts. So you've got the proximal attachment, so that inserts behind the knee between the splint bones on the cannon bone. Then that runs into the body of the suspensory and then it breaks into two and you've got the inside and the outside branches and inserts on the sesamoid bones. Um, and then you've got the distal portion which the sesamoid bones are part of and that they insert on the pastern. So you get puffiness in the pastern, you've got injury in that area. Proximal suspensory, it's just behind the knee and will often the best way to palpate it is lift the leg off the ground and gently push your thumb in between the tendons and the splint bone. If you get a pain response there, um, you have to assess it to the other side. They will cause lameness. So a lot of tendon injuries are sort of myth bust. Superficial digital flexor tendons often won't cause lameness. Um, deep digital flexor in the foot will cause lameness. And suspensory 
body and branches will often not cause lameness, but will cause swelling, but um, proximal suspensions will definitely cause lameness. So in severe cases, they'll pull off the back of the fetlock joint. Your suspensory body, um, it's right at the, it's right at the, sorry, it's right at the bottom of the, right at the bottom here. Um, we we sort of see injuries of those there quite commonly. We have to assess because often when we've got an injury to the body, it will run into the the branch as well. And you've got to check the inside and outside branch when you scan them, and you get a lot of swelling in the region. It's quite obvious to pick them. They're they're very swollen. They're very sort of palpate. Then your branches. You, remember, you've got two branches. You've got an inside and outside branch. Most commonly in a galloping horse, uh, the inside branch will go because that's where most of the pressure is going. You can confuse it sometimes with joint swelling. So if you've got a horse with puffy joints, sometimes you can be a little bit slow to pick these up. So you need to be palpating them. And they're all, they are sort of palpate, but they're often not sore. So take home message. If in doubt, check it out for any swellings. And yeah, I've got to go here. It's